Hi, this is Jennifer. Hopefully you found this video searching for whatever it is you're looking for and researching. It's going to be a quick review of what the black cube stands for. I mentioned some dreams. I don't go really into detail, but there's a lot of information about how the sorcerers of this world use the black cube, how they idealize it and what it stands for, what it represents for them. It's it's a prison in this world, and it's also a counterfeit to the New Jerusalem, which is a golden cube. It's a clear cube. So they have developed something opposite. So I talk about that in this video. I mentioned things here and there might be of interest. And at the end, we pray and we pray the scriptures so you can get some deliverance if you need deliverance from this bride of Satan. So let's go into it. Everything about this world is about the bride and the husband. It's just amazing how deep it is. It all comes down to God and his children and Jesus and his wife. Because God wanted a family, and he got sons and daughters, and Jesus got a wife. The Holy Spirit got a place to dwell. The Holy Spirit got a tabernacle because the Spirit wants a home, the Son wants a wife, and the Father wants a family. So there's this false father, Satan. There's a false bride, which I want to talk about today, which is the black cube. So right there in the middle of it, they have the symbol of the fall. I've seen a dream of escaping a six by six by six cube with a group of, I don't know, 15 people. So everybody had their cubes that they had become free from and they had stole it from the owner. We were pushing our cubes across a street and we're going to bring it to an art expose in a public park. And the expose was supposed to be about freedom from abuse and the abuse puts you into this prison. So the bride of Satan is in a prison. The bride of Christ is in New Jerusalem. So New Jerusalem, this is Mecca, as you know, the area that's going to be where the man who pretends to be Messiah, where he operates from, that's the false kingdom. After this, you know, after people are deceived, and there's going to be people that still aren't deceived. They don't take the mark. They will be called up to meet the Lord in the air. This city will come down for them to reign with Jesus Christ, 1,500 miles cube. And this is going to be the size of that cube. That's what it looks like on the map. On the internet, they'll show it. They'll always show it on a globe. That's not the true representation of the earth. The earth is a circle, and it has four foundations and a dome, a firmament over top. The word firmament means heaven. God made the firmament with the stars in it and the sun and the moon to rotate over the circle of the earth. So this is the one of the few proper images I could find that would show the size of this cube that is going to be on the earth for Jesus' reign because the people of the earth are still going to be alive and reproducing. There's a thousand years on earth that Jesus will reign as king with an iron rod. His people who have been righteous and who were a clean bride are able to rule with him. This is going to be a pure place from which he rules, but the rest of the world will still be defiled. And there will be a cleaning up of the rest of the world. So please be studying that. In the dream, I was talking about how there were places in the world that this cube was showing up. It was an art walk, and they were pretending that it was just art. I was saying, hey, that represents the bride of Satan. I don't know how to tie this in exactly, except the six-point star is related to the false Israel, and the false Israel wears these black cubes on their head and on their hands. So we have here inside a church with the blue and the red, which we know is a cult, the message connected for good. The goal is to connect. The five-point star is the symbol of man. In occultism, it's a symbol of the slave. And the six-point star is a symbol of God-man. It is the ruler. So it's the handler and the slave. And they're trying to get the handler and the slave. God and man, basically, in this circumstance, it's the opposites of red and blue, using the power, the mystical power of opposites to force oneness and in this case it is the oneness of the god man which they're using as far as technology to unite with the human man to make it a technological man in which case the person is never going to be able to go back to being just man flesh man ever again so the goal is to completely take over what god has created and force it to 
what they're calling good, force it into being something different. And the goal is to have a person caged in that. And that's what the black cube ultimately is representing because people at that point will never have another chance to be saved from that. Make sure you know that there is a holy city that is coming down from heaven and it is known as the bride. It is known as the wife of the lamb. We as the church are also known as the bride of Christ, the church. It is known as the temple of my God, the city of my God, heavenly Jerusalem, assembly of the firstborn and Jerusalem above. She is our mother that the black cube is trying to take the place of in this time magazine this they have this black cube with a double serpent this medical symbol with adam and eve they have two serpents with adam and eve and they have this cube next to this psychiatrist which we see as the the jewish psychologists or the psychiatrists that run the mind control programs of this world this is not judah this is not God's people. This is uh, Edom, spiritual Edom. And we know that also because we have not only a cube here, but we have a G representing Freemasonry. And we so we just want to recognize this out. Uh, this is the image I was looking for with a cube inside the six-point star, three-dimensional cube. So let's just pray to the Lord. We thank you for this message, Lord. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. The Bible says, I will instruct you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. So we need to just continue to be seeking him. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. He wants us to seek him for this knowledge that he needs to reveal to us at this time. It's there for us to know and understand. So if we're seeking him in prayer and, and we're seeking his face, he's going to be able to show us these things. So we can ask for dreams about the new Jerusalem, uh, the millennial reign, the things of heaven, so that he can reveal those things to us. For everything comes from God alone. Everything lives by his power and everything is for his glory. His people have been tested by Satan and we have the ability through his righteousness, through the blood of Jesus Christ, to be able to be overcomers through him and through him only because he is the resurrection and the life. We who believe in him, though we may die, we shall live. So while we're alive, the Lord wants us to rise up and pray, to be constant in prayer, and to make sure that we're seeking Him and we, we're seeing Him for the answers because He is going to lead us through this time and this time that's coming. The Lord is near all who call out to Him. If we follow Him, He will make us into fishers of men. He will actually use us for this time where we know we're okay because we've prepared for this time. And so He's going to be able to use us for this time. I just thank you, Father, for this word. I thank you for your encouragement. I thank you for eyes to see the things in the world that are happening. And I just love that my audience now know, if they didn't before, they know the, of the bride of Satan and the bride of Christ. They know the new Jerusalem and the false Jerusalem, the worldly black cube, the physical kingdom that the devil is going to be taking his place in as a false kingdom of God. And we're going to have to bypass that and turn it down, stay focused on the promises of God and know that New Jerusalem is, is the reality. We have eternity in heaven. Thank you, Father, for your word today. And I just pray that your hand is covering everyone that's listening and that you would bless them from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. Thank you, Lord. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. 